When Microsoft Clarity is activated on a website, it automatically sets cookies in visitor's browser, regardless of the consent. But you can change this behavior. In this video, I will show you how Microsoft Clarity can set cookies only if statistics consent is given. By default, when Microsoft Clarity is loaded on your site, it sets two cookies needed for session tracking. Those cookies are right here. However, we can change this behavior and set the cookies only when analytics consent is given. Here I have a demo Google Tag Manager container, and inside of it I have a basic Microsoft Clarity setup, nothing fancy. Now, the first step if you want to manage the cookie behavior is to disable them in the interface of Microsoft Clarity. So you should go to clarity.microsoft.com, then settings, setup, and then disable cookies right here. Now, when Clarity is loaded on your site, it will not set cookies. And when the visitor goes from one page to another, each time Microsoft Clarity will be using a new session ID and user ID, which means that on each page, Microsoft Clarity will think that this is a new user. Below this video, I will post a link to Microsoft documentation about cookie consent. And here they mention that if we have disabled cookies like this, and we want to tell Clarity that the visitor gave consent so the cookies can be set, then we need to activate this code, window Clarity and then consent. In this demo property, I'm using Cookie Hub. And first, let's take a look at what Cookie Hub is doing in the data layer when it is activated. So I will click preview. And I already had preview mode enabled in the past, so it will just refresh. And here I see the cookie consent pop up. Well, also I see the cookies, but these were set from my previous tests. So now I will just delete them. And if I refresh the page, you will see that those cookies, I mean, those two previous cookies, they no longer appear. So this is what we have in the data layer. And if I click allow all cookies, we get a bunch of additional events like Cookie Hub consent update, Cookie Hub analytics, and so on. Let's say that we will activate this particular code only when Cookie Hub consent update happens. And then when it happens, we will check the data layer to see what is the status of analytics. Is consent is given to analytics? If it's true, then yes. Otherwise, it's not. Technically, if you want, you could even simplify things and just fire this particular code when Cookie Hub Analytics is set. But in this example, I will be using this trigger and we will add some code that will check the status of Cookie Hub Analytics variable. If you're using a different consent management platform, then of course the setup will slightly change in certain sections because, well, you will have to adapt. Anyway, let's copy this parameter because I will create a variable for it. So I will go to variables, then use it to find variables, new variable configuration, then data layer variable, I will paste this and then I will name this variable, click save. Then as I mentioned, I will activate the consent code on this particular event. So I will need to create a trigger for it. That's why I will go to triggers, new trigger configuration, custom event, and I will paste that event here. Then let's give it a name and save it. Now the final step is to create a tag that will activate this code. To use this code, we will be creating a custom HTML tag. And first we'll need to surround it with the script tag. And here you have two options. If you decide to use not the update event, but you want to fire it specifically on Cookie Hub Analytics, then it would be enough for you just to copy this code and insert it right here. And then you would fire this tag on Cookie Hub Analytics. But since I will be using Cookie Hub Consent Update, and on that update, Analytics Consent might be false, that's why I will use a bit more complex code, which will check the analytics consent state and if it is true then we will activate this code below this video you will find a little code snippet for that code so you can just copy it together with the script tags let's replace all of this with this code so here you will need to replace this with the variable that returns true or false based on the consent 
If it is true, then the code will check and will activate this part. If it is false, then this part will not work. To insert the variable in the code, you will need to type double curly braces and then select that variable which returns the analytics status. And then this code should be activated, at least in my situation, on the cookiehub consent update event. I already have that trigger, so here it is. And then I will name this, let's say chtml clarity consent and click save. It's time to test if this is working. First, make sure that in the developer tools, you don't see Clarity's cookies. They start with underscore CL. And then also I will clear the consent cookie so that I could see that consent pop up again. Once you do that, let's refresh the preview mode. And here I see that in the network tab, if I type collect, I will still see the requests going to Clarity. But in application and cookies, if I type underscore CL, I don't see Clarity's cookies. Now, if I give consent, the cookies have been set. And if I continue browsing from page to page, Microsoft Clarity will treat me as the same person and all of those page views will be included in the same session. To handle Microsoft Clarity consent, I initially wanted to use this tag template right here because it works with the usual Microsoft consent mode needed for Microsoft Ads tags, but there's also a checkbox for the Microsoft Clarity tag right here. Let me show you. So there's a tag right here. However, what I've noticed, at least based on my understanding, this will work only if ad storage is granted, or in other words, the marketing consent is given. But personally, I look at Clarity as an analytics tool. That's why I am using a custom HTML tag where I'm setting Clarity cookie if analytics consent is given. While this tag needed for Microsoft ads, it will be connected to more marketing consent. Anyway, when you tested this and you made sure that everything is working properly, the next step would be to submit your changes and publish them live. You can do that by clicking submit button and then publish. And that's how you can manage consent for Microsoft Clarity. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius. This is Analytics Mania and I'll see you in the next video.